All right, so we are currently underneath my truck. Uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about my inline fuel pump. Um, first of all, first off, uh, let me start off by saying inline fuel pumps um, are not preferred. Um, in tank is better. Um, that is that's a pretty well known fact. It comes up a lot on the FiTech forums about running a inline fuel pump. Um, for some of us, it's a little bit easier. This tank wasn't equipped for one. It's got a weird slope at the bottom. It would be kind of difficult to get the pickup into the corner, I think. Um, you know, that's up for debate. I'm sure you have plenty of people that comment on that, but um, I prefer to run it in line. That was the original kit that I bought. Um, so go a little bit wider here. So you can see my fuel pump is placed properly. So um, and please don't bother with the comments about it being too low to the ground. Um, it's not my daily driver. I'm not too terribly concerned about it. It is a truck. It's already higher up off the ground than most exhaust systems are. Um, it's higher than the exhaust is on here. So, you know, I got a lot, the last time I posted a picture of this, everybody said, Oh, that's way too, way too low. Well, I'd rather have my, uh, I'd rather have my fuel pump. Uh, working correctly. Um, I'm not too concerned. I built a really stout steel bracket that holds it below the level of my tank. Um, and, uh, you know, I ca I'm conscious about what's on the road in front of me, but the front of my, the front of my truck is lower and the exhaust is far lower. Uh, so anyways, this is a properly set up inline fuel pump. Um, a the outlet of my tank is at the very bottom of my tank. It doesn't have to draw it from the top to come down. Now you can do that. It's just more preferred because this is an entirely gravity fed setup right here. Um, so uh, dash eight all the way. Uh, it's got a, I have a full flow an Earl's full flow uh, ball valve here. Um, so uh, you know, you want to make sure that there's nothing that's going to restrict the flow into the inline pump because that's the main reason that inline pump fails. They, they don't suck, they push. Um, they do create vacuum, but it puts a lot of strain on it uh, if it has to pull the fuel versus just being purely gravity fed. It will eventually make the pump fail. Um, this is a Bosch 044 pump. That's what the Phytech pumps are, the pumps are based off of, but uh, it is a legitimate Bosch pump. Um, my original one never died, never left me stranded, but my Phytech pump did start making a lot of noise and I had it mounted differently too. I didn't, I wasn't as smart as I am now with this or I didn't know as much at the time. Um, I had the pump further down the line. It had to bring it up. It was four feet away. Um, you want the pump to be as close as possible. Um, this is about as short as a run, shorter run as you can get. So uh, like I said, it feeds from the bottom. I've got a full flow uh, valve so I can turn it off if I need to get in here and uh, service the filter, pump, etc. Uh, this is a 40 micron large body Summit. There's a, there's also a lot of different brands that make the same one, but it has a replaceable element in it. Uh, Pre-filter, uh, 40 microns better because it keeps anything from getting into the veins inside of the pump that would make it fail. Um, so uh, you know, this is, this is something that you want. You want now this pump could be at the level of the bottom of the tank. That'd be okay. If the pickup was right, even here, I wanted it down below just cause I had a little bit of room for it. There wasn't as much room to put the pump up in here with the rear end. Um, it's a three quarter ton truck. So it's a little tight, uh, back there with the pumpkin. So, uh, got it situated correctly here. And I've had no problems with this setup. Uh, it, it works. It works fine. The only downside of it is that uh, if I could stop hitting my license plate, the only downside is it, it is mounted to the frame, which means that it moves with the frame, not the suspension, uh, obviously. And it's uh, it's low, but it's not too low. I've still got about eight inches, eight or nine inches of clearance between the ground, and it doesn't look like it from the video, but it is. Um, so as far as the fuel flow is concerned, this is the preferred setup. So nice short run, dash eight all the way, full flow, no restrictions in the system, big body 
filter that makes the flow very easy to get through, even if it gets material in it. Um, it's not it's not a small diameter short filter uh, like Phytech supplies. So th that's just a real quick snip on the inline inline fuel pump uh, setup. So uh, if you're going to use an inline pump, this is the best way to do it. Um, uh, again, I recommend the in-tank. Um, I probably should be running an in-tank, although I don't think that the setup's going to work all that well with this tank. Uh, 